I wanted to talk a bit about uh, LEDs and uh, power again and uh, heat sinks and temperature. Now, when you're putting power into a LED and it's going into the heat sink, one of the most difficult things to calculate is what temperature is it going to stop at? <clears throat> now, I'm probably not up to doing that kind of math. <laughs> but what I can do is set up a lead with a certain amount of wattage going into it and simply wait a couple hours, see how hot it gets. Measure the ambient, write it all down, everything will be good. Now let me show you the setup. See if my little Sony works here. Oops, how do you work this thing? Okay. Alright, I've got a power supply here. It's capable of about two and a half amps. I'm running it at uh, two amps. As you can see. 37 volts. So that's 75 watts. I've been here for about an hour. And my temperature, 71C. Now you're allowed to go to 85 without any problem with this kind of lead. It's a Ridgelux 029. I'm not sure if it's fifth or sixth generation. It's definitely not a new one. Now my Lux is uh, 300 and 3,500 approximately. Oops. <laughs> okay. And this is the heatsink I'm testing with the Vero 29. Can't aim the camera at the Vero because it's uh, really bright. Anyway. Now, later, in the, a little later in this video, probably be an hour from now, I'm going to set up this cheap Chinese so-called 100 watt lead, uh, which I doubt very much is really a 100 watt lead. They just say they are. I want to demonstrate that uh, power has got nothing to do with light output, really. <laughs> the cheap LEDs put out far less light half, quarter, hard to say. So I know at 75 watts I'm getting 3,550 lux, one meter away. We're going to see what we get with the Chinese one, the cheap one. The Vero cost me a little over 30 bucks I think. The Chinese one I can't remember, it was seven or eight bucks. Now, you get what you pay for. We're gonna see. This guy's pretty much stopped at 72 degrees. Let's see? So we're gonna let everything cool down and uh, try out that Chinese lead at 75 watts and see what it does. Okay, I've got my Chinese lead put up. And. It comes with the reflector and the lens, which I removed to make the test a bit more fair. These things can double or triple the light directly in the path of the lead at the expense of dispersion. So if you have a grow off or something, or you're using one of these lights, you might not want to use the lens and reflector to get more dispersion. It depends on the height. You could just use this and not the lens. To get a little wider dispersion. Like I say, it depends on the height. All right, I'm uh, gonna test this LED at 75 watts. I don't know what it actually is. I think I'd see it was sold as a 100, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's 75 watts, that's two and a half amps. 
Voltage is a little lower than the bridge lux. 29.4. And I've got 2,700 lux, which is 1,000 lux less than the bridge, bridge lux. It's three quarters the wattage. I mean the uh, lumens. See, you can't go by watts. Watts is retarded. If you ever go to a website where a guy's testing LEDs and doesn't have a lux meter or something, just leave. <laughs> Find a site where a guy's got an actual light meter. Knows what he's doing. Okay, I'm up to 40 degrees. Now the light goes uh, down with uh, temperature, right? So I'm actually not going to write anything down until I get to my 70 degrees C for a more fair test. Another thing I'd like to say is sometimes you'll you'll test a, an LED at what they say it is then you turn the power down the efficiency goes up through the roof and you think wow what a wonderful LED. Well the fact is they've rated it too high. You can do that with any LED. If you take a bridge lux rated at 80 watts run it at 160 if you want you'll find the efficiency way down but if you think it's a 160 watt lead and you turn the uh, power down a bit the efficiency goes through the roof the real truth is that the Chinese 100 watt lead is really a 50 and if you run it at the uh, proper power the efficiency doesn't go through the roof when you turn the power down a bit In fact, you can tell what the LED is supposed to be running at simply by turning the power down 10% or 20% and seeing if the efficiency goes down 10 or 20%. If you turn the power down 10% and the efficiency doubles, you know you're running it way too hot. They lied to you. Gee, they really do that? Okay, I'm at... Uh, Two and a half amps, 29.2 volts. See, it's changed its uh, impedance because the voltage is down for the same current. So the hotter it gets, the more current it takes. We're only up to 47C. Got a way to go here. See, we're down to 29 volts, 2.5 amps. That's 75 watts. That might not actually even be a 75 watt LED. Might be a 50. We shall see. I'm going to let it cook at 2 amps. Oh, we're up to 50, see? It's climbing. Let's uh, just let it sit. Okay, I've hit 71 degrees with my Chinese lead. And uh, let's see. At 2.5 amps, it's uh, 28 point. 28.7 28.7 volts 28.7 times 2.5 amps 72 watts approximately and we're at uh, 2300 lux which is over a thousand less than the bridge lux we're at, uh, like I said, 72 degrees, 28.7 volts, 72 or something watts. A lot less light. Wattage don't mean shit. Oop, it's 73. Oop. I may not be connected to the heat sink as well as I was. Here's the uh, 
the barrel on a nice big heat sink. That heat sink's half the size. But <clears throat> see how it goes. My power supply is heating up. That's because of the low voltage. This power supply is designed for uh, up to 40 volts, so I'm wasting I'm wasting a lot of watts in there. I think I'll end this test. Goodbye for now.